I'm Edie Lush, and I'm here inside the Hub Culture Studio. It's Davos, it's 2020, and I'm really pleased now to see in person Victoria Alonso Perez. She's the CEO and founder of ChipSafer. And I say see in person because I actually had you on the Global Goals cast when we were looking at women in science and technology and how you can solve the world's problems. So this is exciting. First of all, tell me about your background and why you got into the technology that you are in. Yeah, first of all, it's great to see you too. <laughs> and um, I got involved because I loved space since I was a kid. My biggest passion has always been space. I love aerospace technology. And then I realized that I could use space technology to positively impact uh, people and the environment. Mm -hmm. And so your technology in particular uses satellites, but in order to track cattle. Now, why yes. is that? <laughs> So we, um, we place collars in mm -hmm. the cattle and, and those collars transmit information about the position of where the animals are and that is gathered through GPS mm -hmm. and also about the movement so that we can detect anomalies and warn the farmers on time. Okay, and what are these anomalies and why do you need to tell the farmers about them? So one of our biggest, um, the main reason why they, they contact us is cattle theft, which mm -hmm. is a very big issue in Latin America. Mm. Um, What's the scale of the problem? It's in every single country in Latin America, there is uh, cattle theft. So um, we get a lot of requests mm -hmm. and uh, th we try to find a solution by um, when the livestock goes outside of a specified perimeter, mm -hmm. we send an alarm and then the farmer gets warned and can do something about it. Okay, and so what have you found the farmers, what's the the reaction or what's what's happened as a result? Are you seeing less theft? Are they able to get the cows back? What's happened as a result? Yes, it's funny. We uh, One of the farms that we were um, working with, uh, we are still working with, mm -hmm. um, the second we installed the system, they were having two to three animals stolen every week. Hmm. And we installed the system and it stopped. Amazing. Do you think it's just because they had the collars and it's a, a visual reminder? Yes. Or? Okay, I think that incredible. in the beginning it's because they, they knew that there is the technology mm -hmm. um, there, that the farmers are already implemented technology and that we can detect immediately. So I don't think that, uh, I'm pretty sure the thieves found out about that mm -hmm. and they do not want to go to jail. Nice, <laughs> okay. And what else to the, can your technology do? Can you monitor emissions? Can you monitor, what else can you do with it? Yes, what we can monitor is um, an anomaly in the movement. So if the animal has a weird behavior, mm -hmm. um, it can mean that it has a disease or that it's uh, giving birth. Um, so, so we can detect a lot of different traits and also create statistics about the performance of the animals. For example, how much they walk today or where are the areas where they spent more time and where they didn't spend time at all. Like a Fitbit for cows? It's kind of, yes, <laughs> it's, it's the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. And what's next for you? Are you going to expand to other countries? What are you looking for? Yes, yeah, so now we um, have our manufacturing, all is being done in Singapore. Mm -hmm. So we are working in Singapore. We are also have office in Brazil and in Uruguay. But our idea is to expand to other markets. And uh, also in the future, if I look long term, it would be mostly um, focusing also on wildlife. That that is something that is very close to my heart and I would definitely like to help on, on that issue. What do you mean? Well, being able to track the wildlife, not okay. only tracking the cattle, now we're cattle and horses, mm -hmm. um, but expanding also to other species and, uh, and so preventing poaching. Mm, interesting. Victoria, thank you for stopping by. Great to see you in person. Come back next year and tell us how you're getting, al getting along. I'm Edie Lash here at Hub Culture in Davos 2020.